Hello, this is Geoffrey Frankel with Solutions in Chemistry. Today I'm going to deal with questions in IB Chemistry HL Paper 1, Acids and Bases. This is Calculations 4 and you can do these questions in less than 30 seconds each. This relationship is so important you just have to remember it and you just have to know it. It occurs for Kb, as there, it's for pH equals minus log H, it's pOH equals minus log OH minus, and it's for pKa equals minus log Ka and it's for water PKW equals minus log Kw. Simply have to remember these relationships and you have to remember the relationship between pH and pOH. pH plus pOH equals 14 just let me say that this is true at 25 degrees centigrade. If the temperature changes, this number changes. I find this a fascinating problem. If you can do this one, you can do it in 10 seconds. If you can't do this one, it means you don't really understand the relationship between OH minus and POH, H plus and pH, and the relationship between pH and POH, and also the relationship between H plus and OH minus. So let me write those relationships down so that we get them clear. pH equals minus log H plus. POH equals minus log OH minus. pH plus pOH equals 14. That is true at roughly room temperature between 20 and 25. In addition we have Kw equals H plus concentration times OH minus concentration. Now those are the important relationships in this area. We know if we're dealing with an acid there's going to be more hydrogen ions than hydroxide ions. And we know if we're dealing with a base there's more hydroxide ions than hydrogen ions. However, this relationship is still true. If it's acidic then there is more hydrogen ions than hydroxide ions. If it's basic then there's more hydroxide ions than hydrogen ions. And in neutral water, the, the hydrogen ions equals the concentration of hydroxide ions. OK, let me show you the way to, to get the answer to this. Very simply, they tell you it's a weak acid, and they tell you the concentration. They have not told you the acid dissociation constant. Therefore, you cannot determine the exact value of hydrogen ions in this solution or hydroxide ions in this solution. However, noticing that there are these less than symbols or greater than symbols, you can determine something. Now let's look at what you can determine. Let's look at the weak acid, HA goes to H plus, let's say, minus. We will stop there and just put in what information we do know. We know it's 0 0.01, that's the concentration. What is the concentration of hydrogen ions? Well, it's obviously less than this because it's a weak acid. And therefore, the concentration of hydrogen ions will be less than the concentration of HA. Let's put that in scientific notation. That's 1 times 10 to the minus 2. Therefore, we can say the answer is D. The concentration of hydrogen ions is less than 1 times 10 to the minus 2. And that is the answer. You may not be completely satisfied because you're still confused about what is the meaning of these three. And how can I be absolutely sure that this is the answer? Let me show you hydrogen chloride, HCl, hydrochloric acid in water. 
that is not <laughs> that is not a reversible equation. Definitely not. That it goes 100% to H plus and Cl minus. That is fully dissociated. So concentration of the hydrochloric acid 0 0.01 and concentration of the hydrogen ions is 0 0.01. Put that in scientific notations 1 times 10 to the minus 2. So this fits in with that being a weak acid. This is the value of hydrogen ions if you have a strong acid at this concentration. But we have a weak acid. We have a weak acid at this concentration. Therefore you expect the hydrogen ions to be less than that. It can't be that or more than that. Let us now look at how we convert these hydrogen ions into a pH. If we have a hydrogen ion concentration of 1 times 10 to the minus 2, and called 1 times 10 to the minus 2, pH equals 2. If we have a hydrogen ion less than, less than, uh, let's change it, hydrogen ion less than 1 times 10 to the minus 2, the pH is going to be greater than 2. Therefore, this is wrong. This is quite reasonable for a weak acid, for a pH to be greater than 2. It is not reasonable for a pH, for a weak acid, to be less than 2. Because, as we see, hydrochloric acid has a pH of 2. At this concentration, no weak acid would have a pH less than 2. So we've eliminated that one. We will now go to this equation. pH plus pOH equals 14. If the pH is greater than 2, for that to be true, the pOH must be less than 14. If less than 12, must be less than 12. Therefore, this is wrong, says pOH greater than 12. In fact, what that means, pOH greater than 12, is equivalent to pH less than 2. This is also the pOH of a strong acid, but is not possible at this concentration, because with a pH of 2, hydrochloric acid would have a pOH of 12, and this is a weak acid, so it can't have a pOH of 12 or greater. So those two are out. Now let's look at this one. Well, we've got the hydrogen ion concentration. Uh, 1 times 10 to the minus 2. Let's look at this one. I'll multiply that by the OH minus. And we know that A equals 1 times 10 to the minus 14. Therefore, OH minus equals... 1 times 10 to the minus 14 over 1 times 10 to the minus 2, which equals 1 times 10 to the minus 12. If we're looking at hydrogen ion concentration of less than 1 times 10 to the minus 2, so less than 10 to the minus 2, then this must be greater than that. So the OH minus equivalent to this would be greater than that. And that's saying less than. So that's wrong. The quick way of getting the answer is this. 10 seconds. You can do it. The other material I put here is to explain the meaning of the other three answers. And the other three answers are indicative of pH and pOH and hydroxide ion concentration for a strong acid and in fact it's impossibly strong even hydrochloric acid would not have these values at a concentration of 0 0.01 this is a question that you need to think about and study carefully so that you understand fully the argument and these relationships <laughs> having done the previous one this will be easy for you. You will see immediately that we're looking at a weak base, so it's B plus H2O goes to, that's reversible, BH plus plus OH 
minus. The B has a concentration of 0 0.01. The OH minus has a concentration of less than 0 0.01, which is 1 times 10 to the minus 2. OH minus has a concentration of less than 1 times 10 to the minus 2. That is the answer. Given what I did before, you can stop there and move on. However, if you're still confused by these three, let's work them out. I start off with looking at sodium hydroxide. That is completely dissociated into sodium ions plus OH minus. If that had a concentration of 0.01, then this would have a concentration of 0 0.01, which is 1 times 10 to the minus 2, and therefore we know that it has a pOH equal to 2. Let us look at this one, the pOH less than 2. A pOH less than 2 indicates a concentration of hydroxide ion greater than 1 times 10 to the minus 2, which is not possible. So a pOH is not even possible for sodium hydroxide, which is a strong base. And we are dealing with a weak base. Let me look at the pH. We go to pH plus pOH equals 14. If the pOH equals 2, or is greater than 2, then the pH must be less than 12. But there the pH is greater than 12. That is wrong because the pH greater than 12 is for a strong base at this concentration. So that's wrong. Let us look at the hydrogen ions. Well we get the hydrogen ions from Kw equals the hydroxide ion which is 1 times 10 to the minus 2 and then the hydrogen ion concentration. And we're saying that that equals 1 times 10 to the minus 14. Therefore, this equals 10 to the minus 14 over 1 times 1 times 10 to the minus 2. And we're saying that this is less than that. This is less than that. Therefore, the answer we want is 10 to the minus 12, but is greater than 1 times 10 to the minus 12. And so a hydrogen ion concentration less than that is not possible. I have a comment on these kind of questions. Practicing chemists use pH and concentration of hydrogen ions in order to determine acidity and alkalinity in aqueous solutions. They do not use pOH or hydroxide ions. You can prove that by going to Google and Googling something like pH and measurement and you'll get hundreds of articles for chemists and for students on how to do it and standards and ways of measuring etc. If you Google pOH and measurement you get no articles for professional chemists, you simply get articles for students, such as yourself, and Google seems to think that the word POH could be a Chinese name. For this reason, teachers don't say much about POH and hydroxide ion. They concentrate mainly on pH and hydrogen ion, and that's true of textbooks. They write little about POH and hydroxide ion, and therefore there are not many exercises to give you on POH and hydroxide ion. And this explains why you and many other students have difficulty dealing with pOH and hydroxide ion. Whereas you may well not have the same problems with pH and hydrogen ion. Why are there these questions on pOH and hydroxide ions when practicing chemists don't use it? There are a few statements in the syllabus which simply link pH plus pOH equals 14 and Kw equals H plus OH minus. And therefore the examiners feel that they have the right to ask you a question about pOH. There is the other one, P.
POH equals minus log OH minus. Examiners feel they have the right to ask you questions about POH and hydroxide ions to check whether you understand the theory. It's uh, just something that examiners do. It's just the reality of the syllabus. This sentence is in the syllabus. You're expected to be able to do it and you just have to accept that there will be possible questions on this topic even though practicing chemists do not use POH. If you found this YouTube video helpful please subscribe to my channel Solutions in Chemistry and look at my other videos. Thank you.